Hello, students in school financial administration. Want to go over general state aid equalized assessed valuation formula today. It can be a little tricky, but uh, I'm going to promise to walk you through this so that it won't be as difficult as it seems. I've given you an Excel spreadsheet in Moodle. So you need to download this spreadsheet so you can follow along with me. This spreadsheet has formulas built in. So anytime you change a figure, the other numbers will change. For the quiz and for the assignments I'll be giving you, you'll have to change some of the numbers and then give me outcomes for some of the numbers that changed after you changed an original number. So. Let me explain first general state aid. So general state aid is what every state is required to give school districts and individual schools per pupil. Generally, they only come up with about $6,000, sometimes even less than that. And then the local funds have to contribute to make the school district whole per pupil. So you have federal funds, you have state funds, and then you have local dollars collected from the property taxes. So general state aid, equalized assessed valuation formula. This is an example of an original EAV, equalized assessed valuation of homes or buildings within a school district. So we're using a flat number of $150 million. Here is a proposed tax rate of 3%, 0.03 is 3%. The local resources from the taxes are $4.5 million. This particular district has 1,600 students. As you can see, this is a very, very small district. Uh, and then you have local resources per student, foundation amount, and the foundation level. So let me just give you an example. If I change this to 250 million, you'll see some numbers change. You'll also see me disappear here. I'll try to get you back. So the, we went from 150 million in original equalized assessed valuation of properties within a district. We kept the tax rate the same, but our local resources and local resources per student, taxes, foundation amount, and our foundation level all changed because our EAV changed. Let's take this back to 150. And you'll see that those numbers go back to the original. Now the foundation amount doesn't change because this is what is supposed to be given by the state in the first place. All right, so let's keep going down on this particular measure average daily attendance. So let's say we have a school district of 1,600 in the district. Three years ago, this district had 1,400 students. Two years ago, 1,500. And one year ago, we got to the 1,600 pupils within the school district. What we do is we take the average over a period of three years to figure out what the per pupil will be for the students. I'll continue. There's also a low income formula. So low income information, we have 475 students three years ago who were considered low income from the 1400 student figure. As we go down through the second year and then one year ago, there were 1600 students and there were 515 low income students one year ago. All right, so what do we do? We have the three year average number of low income students. Our average is 496.67. All right, um, close to 500 or so. And what we also have is the percentage of low income students to all students. So if we change one of these figures, let's say we just change this from 475 to 
600. You'll see our numbers change. Of course, our average goes up to 538.33. And you'll see the percentage of low-income students also increases as well to 33.65. Let's take this back to where it was. And we're back at our 496. All right. Good, 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 good. So foundation level. Let's go down to the foundation level here. We have a foundation level of $9,790,000. We have an available local resources. This is coming from taxes, $4.5 million. And we have a foundation formula of $5,290,400. This is just a simple subtraction. All right. If we go back up here, you'll see local resources from taxes. This is the tax money that we collected from the levy. We bring that figure down to available local resources, which is the same number here. But we have to figure out the foundation formula. That's how we get this subtraction. As we continue, we'll see that there's a flat grant. Flat grant is Barely enough to buy a cup of coffee. Flat grant is $218 per student. Can't buy much, but the state basically throws that in um, for general purposes. Number of students in district, 1,600. So we get flat grant monies of $348,800. That's the 218 times 1,600 students. Let me widen this out for you. Here we go. All right, so total funds for the district, 10,139,200. So the key is to basically know what these numbers stand for. Every district has to count account for these numbers. And this is how we fund schools. We fund schools based on the original equalized assessed valuation. We multiply that times the tax rate, giving us the local resources from taxes. So if you're in a district that has $150 million in buildings, commercial real estate, land, and your tax rate's 3%, you should be able to collect at least $4.5 million. All right, so for the assignment and for the quiz that you have, make sure that you open up this spreadsheet and put the numbers in that correspond to the questions that I ask. You may need to get pencil and paper out to jot down some of your answers before you physically type them into Moodle. But what you wanna do is download the spreadsheet, plug the numbers in that I give you in the assignment, and you should have no problems whatsoever because these figures, these uh, this particular spreadsheet has the formula built in. Take care. Make sure you read it. Keep reading the chapters that I've given you and I'll see you all next week.